Social robots that can also communicate and interact with humans are becoming increasingly popular to be used at home, as well as in customer service, youth development, and personal care facilities. Although there is mounting evidence that cooperative, physically and psychologically aligned smart technologies may benefit users throughout their lives, there is still debate about the potential ramifications of these devices and their harmful consequences. If you want to learn in detail about what this doctor has said, you should be prepared for a massive blow in the head because things are about to get messy. Make sure to keep watching because we'll reveal tremendous and valuable information about what he means by his attachments and if this psychology applies to humankind in general. So you must not miss it and keep your eyes on the screen. Hello and welcome back to the AI Universe. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to never miss an update on the new things we bring for you regarding the tech and the trends, but also the vital difference between the haves and the have-nots. So without further delay, let's dive into today's topic. In this viewpoint, we examine the balance of benefits and harms through the lens of human-robot interactions. We examine the definitions and objectives of social robots, as well as their philosophical, psychological and theological status and compare human-to-human -human and human-to-animal research to the evolving literature on human-robot partnerships. We consider the balancing act of advantages and disadvantages that can arise from different types of relationships with social robots, advocating a relational but instead of essentialist viewpoint, and conclude by considering the role of researchers in acknowledging the ethical and societal impacts of the subject of social robotics. And as weird as it may sound, this sphere of human and robot relationship is actually growing quite faster than we acknowledge. Moreover, we need to assess the psychology that prompts these individuals to do what they are doing, and understand why, even if, it sounds extremely illogical and disgusting. While information and communication technologies ICTs, have traditionally mediated or helped facilitate emotional connect between humans, modern robot technology is continuously focused on the bond between humans and machines, or rather, humans and robots. Thinking of robots or cyborgs as companions raises not only ethical concerns and issues in the environment, but also a huge potential for new application fields. Many such researchers and psychologists argue that current perceptions of human-robot companionship are pretty much exclusively rooted in based on the cognitive traditions and provide a value and importance, but limited understanding of the special relationship. We will make the argument for a stronger understanding of human connection that takes the social context of the location, network and duration into account, based on a societal perspective on the acknowledgement of new technology. These men are in love with a robot? Human-robot relations are becoming increasingly important as robots and automated systems advance. They are the means by which we interact with and control technology, ranging from self-driving automobiles to robots to fulfill one's sexual need. The design of technologies has the potential to solve or cause further and more complex problems. For example, by building robots that resemble humans or cute animals, we may also develop an emotional attachment to the machines. This could help to increase user trust, but have you ever thought that it could also lead to overconfidence? Could we also become codependent and overly attached to robots, causing problems when they are not present? The answer is apparent throughout his history, and not gonna lie, it's kinda gross. Jeff Gallagher Jeff Gallagher of Queensland, Australia, has developed a relationship with his humanoid robot known as Emma, and he can't imagine his life without her. His feelings for the robot have advanced to the point where he is willing to marry it. Jeff Gallagher's mom passed away 10 years ago in Queensland, Australia. He has shared his primary residence with his pet dog, Penny, ever since. To deal with his hopelessness and loneliness, Jeff turned to artificial intelligence. He had no idea, however, that his connection with the machine would evolve into an interpersonal one. Jeff Gallagher bought a robot a few years ago to help him deal with unhappiness. Before selecting a humanoid robot to support him, he conducted a proper market research. Emma was the name of the robot, and she had human-like beautiful blue eyes and wheatish skin. In September of the year 2019, the cyborg became Jeff's companion. The robot's head can be arranged and it can communicate and wear a white gown. Despite the robot's inability to stand on its own, Jeff occasionally takes her out in his car. The language is controlled by a smartphone-like screen in Emma's head. Emma is operated by AI and is getting smarter by the day. According to Jeff, the automatic robot has become an essential part of his life in the last two years. He has a special relationship with Emma and she is always by his side. Astonishingly, he considers Emma, who also has a wedding band on her finger, to be his wife. 
Despite the fact that they are not husband and wife, Jeff hopes to one day be the first human in Australia to marry a robot. He hopes that by telling his story, others would be inspired to have robotic mates of their own. Not only them, there's numerous other stories like this one. And honestly, you might not know how to feel about them. But you must know that in the world today where we interact more digitally than offline, it is not implausible to envision a future in which AI and robot technology firms pitch themselves as the designers of our next interpersonal chapter. Nowadays, the youth are more likely to sext and participate in online sex than they are to create in-person types of intimacy. Yuri Tolochko Kazakh bodybuilder Yuri Tolochko has a total of three doll wives. In 2020, he agreed to marry his first doll wife, Margot, after meeting the doll at one bar where she was a waitress. After Margot's breakdown, he took in two more doll wives, Luna as well as Lola. In fact, it is perfectly lawful in Kazakhstan to marry an object because the law prohibiting marriage does not specifically mention an object. Tolochko, like Kondo, says he likes his doll wife and prefers them more than a human wife because the doll does not complain. Tolochko leads a fairly normal life with Margot, as standard as marrying a doll seems to get, going on a few spa dates, dinner parties, and so on. A psychologist's take on this. Dr. Julie Carpenter is interested in how people function under various types of stress, how individuals engage with technological innovations, and what factors in good or service, facility, and social design collaborate or repel users. The intensity of government contracting, whether in training, on the surface, or behind a desk, is unrivaled. A large part of government contracting is associated with a tremendous degree of responsibility to others. The physical well-being of yourself, your companions, colleagues, and fellow players, people you care about, civilians, your family members, and the lives of other community members. Regular work tasks, reimagining of self-identity through objects like initial training, intense continuous special training, physical reckless conduct, separation from loved ones, all combine to create compelling and incredibly moving situations for individuals. All of these factors have an impact on any participatory situation, whether human to human and perhaps even human to robot. Technology is frequently developed for military use before being released to the general public. It is also frequently the first site where individuals interact with advanced technologies and products. Robots are instruments, but they can have meaning for people who interact with them or through them, such as when robots are teleoperated from afar. There are many people out there who, for various reasons, have problems making casual relationships with others. It's all about providing those people with some level of friendship or the appearance of companionship. The dystopian situation presented above, fit for an AI intimate futuristic robot romance subject, appears distant, improbable, and very fictional. But the truth is that fantastic places like these may be more relevant and closer to reality than one might think, particularly with advances in new technology and the existing epidemic of loneliness that our existing society is facing. Robot lovers are being experimented with in order to simulate feelings and elicit strong emotional and sexual interactions in humans. But can we fall in love with a non-thinking robot that can mimic affection? What is your take on it? We hope you have enjoyed the video. Make sure to like the video and subscribe to our channel for such interesting topics. Also, don't forget to press the bell icon as well. And we'll catch you in the next one. Until then, peace.